Your 
water you turn into wine Open the eyes of the blind There's no one like you None like you Into the darkness we shine There is no other name given under the heavens through which mankind shall be saved, delivered, healed, cleansed, set free. But the name of Jesus, we look to Jesus, we call on his name. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, we lift up your name. the one who's promised that you will baptize us with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Anoint us with fresh oil, O Lord. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. We enforce your victory tonight. We enforce your victory tonight. We enforce your victory tonight. As one family, as one church, O oh Lord, wherever we are. We lift up your name. We give you all the glory and honor. We proclaim your Lordship, Jesus. And we enforce your victory tonight in our midst. You are a good shepherd. You are a leader. You are a cornerstone. You are a refuge, a righteousness, a redeemer, a savior. Jesus, we lift up your name. You are a cornerstone. You are a vision. We keep our eyes upon you. None of us who look to you shall ever be put to shame. Even tonight, Lord, we lift up your name. Magnify your name. May our hearts desire be for you. We long to be, Lord, in your presence. Open our understanding, open our ears, open our hearts. Thank you, Jesus. We give you all glory and honor. Bless, bless us, O God, as we spend time in your word. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Aren't you glad that you are wherever you are? You are just about to hear the word of the Lord. And what a privilege for me to declare to you the word of God tonight. It's not a long message. A very short message. It's not the length of the message. But what God is trying to speak to us tonight that is more important. Amen. So I'm, I'm just going to sh- sh- share a, a word with you. And then we're going to just pray together. 
and and I, I strongly believe there will be God. the hand of the Lord that will come upon you tonight. Amen. If you believe that and if you're expecting the Holy Spirit of God to move upon your lives, Amen. lift up your hands and say Amen, Amen. to that. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Put your hands together and give one more clap of to Jesus wherever you are. Lift up the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tonight I want you to open your Bibles to the book of Revelation chapter 1. The book of Revelations, the first chapter. And was 11. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. Amen. Glory be to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I want to title the message There is an end and there is a beginning. Wherever you are, say that with me. There is an end. There is an end. And there is a beginning. And there is a beginning. Amen. Because our God is a God of the beginning and the end. Amen. So tonight I want to tell you, I, I you know, I was, I was trying to prepare a word and I had something that I was preparing. And just before I left home to come to minister, the Holy Spirit impressed upon me this word. There is an end. There is an end to the predicament that you are in. Amen. There is an end to everything that is unsettling your life. Yes. There is an end to every kind of misery and pain Amen. and confrontation and challenge that you're facing in your life. Amen. There is an end to every kind of affliction that you feel in your body. Yes. To every kind of lack and struggle yes. and depression. Amen. Amen. I came to tell you prophetically tonight, oh. there is an end in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because our God is not only a God of the beginnings, but He's a God of the end. Yes. He can put an end to whatever you are suffering tonight. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Look at the book of Proverbs chapter 23. Let's look at a couple of scriptures tonight. Proverbs chapter 23 and verse 18. For surely there is an end. For surely, I want to like that. For surely there is an end. And thine expectation shall not be cut off. And thine expectation shall not be cut off. 17 and 18 was let not thine heart envy sinners, but be thou in the fear of the Lord all the day long. For surely. There is an end. Amen. Number one, even tirpinda deivama. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Ninte life will devi ke mal yatta do ballo. Pishashi wani itte thondangil itte yatri yeshu minda naamathil je pravijju chuparayana. Adi nu re tirpa varishu thamma va. Ii duvasengal ninte jivathle kai kiu. Eithe ne kanda viraane gil karta vane karangal chu mauto gurdo. There is an end to whatever struggle you are going through tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Look at another verse. Jeremiah, the 31st chapter. Verses 17. Jeremiah 31, 17. And there is hope in thine end, says and the there Lord. There is hope in thine end. There is hope in thine end. There is hope in thine end, says the Lord. And thy children shall come again to their own borders. There is hope in thine end. Lift your hand and say, there is hope in my end. There is hope in my end. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Sayeth the Lord, not the prophet. Hallelujah. There is hope in thine end, saith the Lord. Look at another scripture, the book of Nahum. The book of Nahum. The first chapter. And verses 8 and 9. Nahum 1, 8 and 9. But with an overrunning flood, ah. he will make an utter end of the place thereof. But with an overrunning flood, he will make an utter end of the place thereof. And darkness shall pursue his enemies. And darkness shall pursue his enemies. What do ye imagine against the Lord? What do you imagine against the Lord? He will make an utter end. He will make an utter end. See, two times in the scriptures, he will make an utter end. 
affliction shall not rise up the second time wow if you have been afflicted one say that with me together tonight uh, affliction shall not, not rise up the rise second up time rise up a second time say that again affliction, affliction in my life not shall rise not rise up, up a second, second time. time every Hallelujah. area of your life that was afflicted yes, it will not rise up again Amen. it will not come back again Amen. that sickness that problem yes. that bondage oh, that curse oh, won't oh, reoccur oh, in oh, your oh, life oh, in oh, the name oh, of oh, jesus oh, the lord will decree oh, and tonight oh, through his word is decree and at the end of amen. your affliction of the yes. complete end amen yes amen amen look into the new testament again 1 peter chapter 5 1 peter chapter 5 verse 10 but the god of all grace but the god of all grace who has called us unto his eternal glory who has called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus by Christ Jesus after that you have suffered a while after that you suffered a while make you perfect make you perfect establish establish strengthen strengthen settle you and settle you our god is a god of settlement he will settle you amen see after you have suffered a while not suffered forever yes none of his children are going to suffer forever Amen. After you have suffered a while the Lord himself will perfect establish strengthen and settle you Hallelujah. He will bring in settlement to the challenge that you're facing Amen If you have seen some things and unsettling you then do not take the word you will also see with your own eyes things being settled by the hand of god Jesus on the cross before he gave up his spirit he cried and he said it is over it is finished I mean our God is a God who wants to end certain things that you've been going through whether it be a tormenting voice whether whether it be a persecution to your soul whether it is a sickness a cancer a bondage something that the enemy has been throwing against you taunting you and unsettling you tonight in the name of Jesus I decree again by the Holy Spirit yes. that is an end amen amen how do you see that you have to be in a position to see the unsettling things in your life coming to an end so that the unsettling things won't see your end but you will see the end of the things that unsettled you how does it happen how do you get into that position where you can see that the first simple truth is you have to be born again hallelujah i do not know why some, some sometimes the way that some people live it almost looks like as if salvation is no longer important they're just happy going in for a prayer or a church or listening to a message or doing this or doing that and just getting into a religious activity or just playing church or acting religious or spiritual but with that you don't see an end to that which is unsettling you born again is what the bible says you have to be to see the kingdom to enter the kingdom second corinthians 5:21 he became sin he who knew no sin isaiah 3:10 say to the righteous it, it shall be well with well you. with thee isaiah 32 was 17 isaiah 32 17 so 
most of the scriptures we've been looking through in the last few weeks but look at that again Isaiah 32 17 and the work of righteousness and the work of righteousness shall be peace see, see the work of righteousness shall be if you are righteous through the blood of Jesus you shall have peace yeah and the effect of righteousness quietness and assurance forever yeah you're not unsettled you're quietness and assurance forever Amen So when you realize that you become the righteousness of God through Jesus Christ just not an intellectual knowledge when you really turn to God and been born again and accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior The blood of Jesus cleanses you and you know your peace with God and there is a righteousness that is freely given to you through the blood of Jesus Christ then the effect of it is, is your peace. Hallelujah. And you have quietness and assurance. The second requirement is you must return back to God if you have been disconnected from Him. I mean, you no longer have fellowship it is like a husband and wife they no longer fellowship they are living under the same roof you, you no longer fellowship with God there is no longer a relationship you're born again you're baptized but mm. Malachi chapter 3 verses 7 and 8 the last book in the Old Testament it says there Malachi chapter 3 verses 7 and 8 even from the days of your fathers even from the days of your fathers you are gone away from mine ordinances uh, and have not kept them yes return unto me return unto me and i will return unto you says the lord of and hosts and i will return unto you says the lord but ye said wherein shall we return mm. will a man rob god that's enough see the lord is saying return unto me isaiah 30 verses 15 to 17 isaiah 30 15 to 17 3 0 verses 15 to 17 for thus said the Lord God for, the, for thus saith the Lord God the Holy One of Israel the Holy One of Israel in returning and rest say that with me in returning and rest shall ye be saved sa shall you be saved in, in quietness and in confidence shall your strength and you would not see God is saying in returning and in rest shall you be saved in quietness and confidence Amen. so there comes a point where you can't just leave anyhow you might not be sinning but neither are you fellowshipping with God for things to come to an end that is afflicting you you have to be committed to be walking in faith can you say that with me walking in faith walking in faith say that again walking in faith walking in faith I mean you're not afraid you're not running away there is a trust Proverbs 28 1 the righteous are as bold, as bold as the lion and the wicked run when there is nobody chasing them Don't run from one place to another. God is bigger than your challenge. Amen. A trust, a faith, where you know that you belong to God and He will see you through. Do you have that tonight? The mountain of your problem, the challenge. But amidst that for you to come to a point where you say, I trust the Lord. I walk by faith and not by sight. It doesn't matter whether it is COVID-19 outside, what is happening around. I know in whom I have trusted. Paul said to Timothy, 2 Timothy chapter 1, I know in whom I have trusted. fourth one 
be committed to living by the word of God more than the opinions of men you know there will be people who will celebrate you but always be careful of them because they'll also stone you there'll be people who will be saying man without you I couldn't have survived so long you are the greatest you are the best I mean if you're especially a preacher or a minister there'll be hundreds of people who come and say pastor oh that word was for me without oh my god I do not know how I would have continued so far without you being there in my life I've been in ministry for 25 years I've seen those very people sometimes who say that I'm not saying everybody is like that the very people who celebrate you and who try to put you in a pedestal you know be quick to pull you down and throw dirt at you and stone you there comes a point I've realized when the anointing that you carry can become an annoyance for somebody who is overstaying. They're no longer committed. They lost that love and that very, the very it can be any preacher. That very preacher who was responsible for them being blessed over here suddenly, that very anointing becomes something that annoys them. The world is no longer going inside. You know, in certain Pentecostal churches, you know, they have a system where, and even even in Catholic churches or traditional churches where after a few years uh, the pastor has to move to another parsonage or another church in another locality and there'll be people in their old locality who will say pastor we'll never forget, uh, forget you you know I mean oh my god pastor you've been such a blessing we'll remember you but I have sat with some of those pastors they said after two weeks those people forget tonight I hope this word is feeding you tonight. Amen. 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 This word is like meat, you know, meat. It is not to make you fat, but to make you muscular. <laughs> Spiritually strong. Look at Psalm 119:89. Psalm 119:89 the verse. Forever, O Lord. Forever, O Lord. Thy word is settled in heaven. See, God's word is settled. Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in the heavens. Look at 165, Psalm 119, 165. Great peace have they which love thy law, and nothing shall offend them. Great peace, nothing offends them. People who are offended all the time are people who are not staying in the word. They are going by the opinions of people. You gotta love this book more than people. I love this B I B L E more than people. Come on, church, lift up your hands tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you. It is simple truths from the scripture, but I pray the Holy Spirit will use this uh, to convert some souls, to change some attitudes, uh, to deliver some of you from the clutches of the enemy and release you uh, to a foundation in God's word, uh, to be enlightened by his word. Uh, lift your hands and glorify the name of Jesus tonight. Uh, glorify the name of Jesus tonight. Glorify the name of Jesus. You got to the fourth point that how you position yourself is serving God has to become a lifestyle. It's a commitment. 
and I'm not speaking about serving in the church that is important that is beautiful but some people only want to be light in the church the Lord has called you to be light in the world so you give them the mic and opportunity to serve in the Lord wow they feel good but their light is somewhere not shining outside where they are staying so there is something wrong right from the servants who come to your home to people who stay next to you to people around you people in your family no wow you're serving Jesus because it's it's a commitment in the gym you cannot go there right now but in the gym if you're going there you're winning souls for Jesus in your business you're witnessing about Jesus in your job people can see the glory of God upon you this this lifestyle don't look for a title it is said that you know one of the largest church, churches in the world once the senior pastor of that church decided that he would take the title away from his fellow pastors so he said you no longer fasters he called his worshiping team he told his worshiping leaders you no longer worship leaders just the name you know what happened 60% of the people who were serving with that pastor left that pastor and joined up another Christian organization where they could have the title pastor a worship leader God is it annoying titles God annoys people Amen Titles and matter you are committed to serving Jesus miracles will follow where you are yes. people will know that you are an ambassador for Christ some people who don't, don't want to be an ambassador for Christ in, in, in this time and season because ambassadors are old fashioned they would rather be a Benz <laughs> supposed to be a joke but you are an ambassador of Christ Joshua 24:15 Joshua said as for me and my house we, sh- we shall serve the Lord we shall serve the Lord say that with me as for me and my household as for me and my household we will serve the Lord we will serve the Lord 2, 2 Chronicles 15 3 to 15 out of that the 15th verse we will read God gave the israel the, the people of judah all round rest when they decided they would only serve him he settled things for them around 2 chronicles 15 15 please read yeah and all judah rejoiced at the oath and for all judah rejoiced at the oath for they had sworn with all their heart mm-hmm. and sought him with their whole desire yes and he was found of them mm. and the lord gave them rest round about and the lord gave them rest round about wow may you enjoy round about rest amen hallelujah your hallelujah. season your struggle Ooh, your battles uh, hallelujah the challenges that you're facing may they be end to it tonight in the name of amen. jesus uh, yes, i speak it forth uh, let the peace of god come over your relationships uh, over your family uh, over your you uh, over your finances rabala wa shamhala da rabasu dana the peace all around rest of god uh, all around you rabale wa sahatuna bana may you be enveloped in the peace of god in the anointing of the holy spirit uh, as you dedicate to serve jesus christ uh, the glory of yahweh cover you amen 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 the next point and this is very important you have to learn to react to every unsettling thing See, there are people that I prayed for I realize they are happy with their problem sometimes people tell me pastor 
you know i went to the doctor and the doctor said this condition won't change i'll have this sickness all through my life so i've learned to cope with it then why do you come for prayer cope with it i've learned to be at peace with the situation they don't see change have learned to adjust and there's a place to adjust but you got to come to a point where you're not reacting to people you are reacting to that affliction or to that issue or the things that are unsettling you and you are going into the presence of god and you're traveling and you're crying and saying lord unless you intervene unless you come down and put a full stop to it this cannot change lord i want you to help me and you cry before god and the god of the breakthrough steps in at a point and releases his blessing over you in the name of jesus may that be the portion of somebody who is listening tonight in the name of jesus tonight amen sometimes people use the words like i am being patient pastor god is teaching me patience and there is a place for that be patient with people be patient with your spouse and with your children and all that but there is a point where you say lord it's like jacob lord i won't let you go unless you bless me see that's even if my hip bone is going to be broken and i am going to be limping through the rest of my life i want no longer to be jacob i want to be israel amen father so you are, you don't want to be where you are even you have to let go certain things and limp a little bit and you just want your name to be changed Sometimes people come and say, Pastor, the doctor said I have, uh, you know, hepatitis B. And that will be there with me all through. Yeah, you can. That can be your portion if that's how you want it. But you need to be enlightened from God's word to realize that if you seek him and hold on to him, he can make an utter end to that hepatitis B in your life. That is for somebody here. In the name of Jesus. You don't have to carry that. Yes. I've seen people who want to break through they 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 want a baby, they want to get married, they and not in that order. First get married then have the baby. I'm, <laughs> what I'm saying is you want to get married and you you're gentle with life and you're saying okay. No. Just sometimes you got to really go into a season of fasting and praying and say listen lord you i want to do your will i just seeking your face so you want a baby and you're waiting you can wait all through your life you can take a promise saying okay abraham had a child at 99 wait till 99 but you can also go before the lord and say lord i'm desperate unless you change the situation and you're willing to fast you're willing to cry you're willing to go to any end to hold on to Jesus to see your breakthrough let me tell you he will come down he will put an end to your barrenness uh, that is a word over somebody tonight uh, in the name of Jesus he will put an end to the barrenness amen amen maybe all people around you are going ahead and you think you're lagging behind and you're saying i'm gentle i'm waiting i'm waiting for my time uh, well there is a place for that but tonight is a night where you're saying Lord I want my situation to change I am holding on to you Jesus I am yes, holding Lord. on to you Yes Lord Thank you Jesus 2 Corinthians 4 verse 17 Paul uses the word This light affliction is but for a moment Can you say that with me This light affliction is but for a moment Is but for a moment See even his affliction he said is for a moment not forever light affliction 
I mean, some of you are carrying heavy affliction. And you think, oh my God, it is okay. I think I've got to learn to live with this. Come on. Even Paul said, a light affliction is for a moment. Even Paul suffered for a while. People who got settled always cried out. Jabez cried. You remember that one Chronicles 4, 9 and 10? He cried out to God, Lord, I need to change. Jacob cried. Why? Even Jesus on the cross, he cried. a realization at some point in your life that people can help you to only a certain point but beyond that it is your cry before God it is your faith before God it is your prayer and God himself descends he himself yes, shows up and puts oh, an end to your affliction and gives you a new beginning To the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Lift your hand and say, There's going to be an end. There's going to, to be my an barrenness, end to my barrenness, to my poverty, to my poverty, to my sickness, to my sickness, to my affliction, to my affliction, to my to the attacks of my life, to the attacks of my life, to wickedness. There shall be an end. There shall be in an end. In the name of Jesus. 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 Lift your voice. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. Every activity of evil and wickedness. There shall be an end to it in the name of Jesus in your life. Lift your hands and call on the name of Jesus. Call on the name of Jesus. Don't stop. Come on, church. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So there is an end, and then there is a beginning. Isaiah 43, 19. Isaiah 43, verse 19. Behold, I will do a new thing. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. It, now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? Shall you not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Amen. Hallelujah. How many of you want God to do a new thing? A season of new beginnings over your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. A unique thing, even a way in the wilderness. Streams in the desert. Yes. Something new Hallelujah. is going to happen. Amen. Something Amen. new is in store. Yes. Amen. Amen. I, I speak it again. A new beginning is coming over you. Amen. Everything that is holding on to your past or everything trying to hold, hold on to your past is going to be eternally divorced from your life. Amen. God can open a new chapter. Yes. Ah, come on, church. Oh, yes. God will open a new chapter yes, Lord. in my life. Say that with me. God will, God will open, open a there new are chapters, chapter in my life. Chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3. Well, the old chapter is going to put an end to it and then it's going to 
open up a new chapter of new Amen. beginnings hallelujah is the alpha and the omega hallelujah. the beginning and the end yeah. i speak for tonight in the name of jesus that new beginnings shall follow you new beginnings whether it be in your family life whether it be in your finances whether it be in your career whether it be in your academics whether it be in your ministry yeah. let there be new beginnings in the name of jesus amen amen isaiah 62 verse 2 isaiah 62 verse 2 Isaiah 62 verse 2 yes and the gentiles shall see thy righteousness and the gentiles shall see thy righteousness and all kings thy glory and all kings thy glory and thou shall be called by a new name and thou shall be called by a new name so people call you by your condition and your condition is going to change that's what it literally means blind bartimus is blind so is blind bartimus that's his name selva chelare parneyittund orakkam thoongirikkana chetta illa ah a porayil orakkam thoongirikkana chetta because avante condition adu orakkam thoongi ippol irikkullu inje po avante testimony maaran povu a thulli chaadi energetic aayittulla chetta illa peru maaru ആ പാവപ്പെട്ട മനുഷ്യൻ എപ്പോഴും നമ്മുടെ അടുത്ത് സഹായത്തിന് ചോദിച്ചു വരുന്നത് അവൻ്റെ പേര് പോലും അറിയത്തില്ല ഈസ് നോട്ട് ബൈ ഈസ് കണ്ടീഷൻ മാറാൻ പോവുക ആ പാവപ്പെട്ട മനുഷ്യൻ നാളെ ഒരു ബൈക്ക് ഓടിച്ചു വരാൻ പോവുക വചനം കേറുന്നുണ്ട് കേട്ടോ അങ്ങനെ കേറുന്ന ആരോ നിങ്ങളുടെ ഇന്ന് ഡേറ്റ് ചെയ്ത് വെച്ചോക്കണം ഇന്നത്തെ ഡേറ്റ് നോക്കിയാക്കണം ഫ്രൈഡേ എന്നിട്ട് ഏത് ഡേറ്റ് ചെയ്തിട്ട് പറയണം പ്രൈസ് പുതിയ തുടക്കത്തിന്റെ രാത്രിയാണ് യേശുവിന്റെ നാമത്തിൽ നിന്റെ ആരോഗ്യത്തിന്റെ സ്ഥിതി മാറുകയാണ് പ്രൈസ് നിന്നെ ക്യാൻസർ രോഗി എന്നാണ് അറിഞ്ഞിരിക്കുന്ന പേര് മാറാൻ പോകുകയാണ് ക്യാൻസർ രോഗി എന്നല്ല പ്രൈസ് ആരോഗ്യമുള്ള ചേച്ചി പ്രൈസ് Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. It changes your situation. Lift your hand. Say Lord I thank you. Lord I thank you. Oh rahala. Oh rabari kala baru dar. Do something new Lord. In my life. Something new. Thank you Lord hallelujah lift your hands and praise him thank you Lord rudele ma juan jadu Jesus rebo lucia in my life thank you Lord hallelujah do something new in my life something new in my life something new in my life today lift your hands and say that do something new in my life something new in my life something new
information. Information doesn't change anybody. But when you pray with information that you have from God's word, it becomes a revelation. See, good news, you take away the yes, it is good new. The good news becomes good new. I mean, it becomes a revelation. But something new. Something new. Yes. Something new, Lord. Yes, Lord. Everyone who is in Christ is a new creation. The gold is gone, the new has come. The new has come. You are a new creation in Christ. Lift your hand and say, I have something new. Because I belong to Jesus. Sing it again one more time from your heart. Something new. maybe your husband, maybe your wife, your children look at them and say, let the Lord do something new in your life Lord do something new in your life Lord do something new in your life oh Lord say to the one sitting next to you Lord do something in your life something new in your life something new in your life look at Proverbs chapter 25 and verse 25 tonight I sense the atmosphere changing in your room, in your house uh, a family that is listening to me that uh, was on the point of divorce or you had thoughts and words of divorce in your home that is that that is completely being broken away that's an evil spirit that's being broken away from your home the peace and the presence of God is coming over your home tonight uh, the peace of God is coming over your home tonight uh, Proverbs 25 verse 25 look at that as cold waters to a thirsty soul as cold waters to a thirsty soul so is good news from a far country so is good news from a far country good news is a pathway to new beginnings amen it's a revelation it's a pathway to new beginnings you're hearing a word if Jesus was in this room today and he is what would he have said if he was coming live streaming onto your home today? If he was in your home, he would have just said a word. Good news, he would have just said a word. And would you have taken it? If so, take this word. Because it's the word that he gave. Amen. Amen. Glory unto the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You gotta. You gotta. You, you gotta have the revelation that new beginnings. God can do something new. 
That is why you pray. James 5.16, heartfelt prayer actually provokes it. Look at the classic Amplified Bible, James 5.16. A, a believer's full potential is never realized outside of prayer. It's never outside of prayer. Your full potential is always realized inside of prayer. Heartfelt prayer. Look at James 5.16. Therefore, mm, therefore, confess your sins to one another, uh -huh. your false steps, mm. your offenses, mm. and pray for one another. And pray for one another that you may be healed and restored. Mm. The heartfelt and persistent See, prayer. The heartfelt and persistent prayer of a righteous man. Of a righteous man is able to accomplish much. Wow! Is able to accomplish much. When put into action and made effective by God. Amen. That's enough. The heartfelt prayer. That's what I, just not just mouthing your prayer. Heartfelt prayer, Lord. Radha Lamas, unless you Rakelos, oh, oh, Jesus, unless you intervene, Lord, unless you do something about this. And unless you give me a new start, unless you work something around and bring a new beginning for my business, Lord. Nothing can happen for me. And you're crying before God from your heart. Prayer is answered. Amen. I said the prayer is answered when you do that. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be unto the name of Jesus. Amen. You gotta learn to, you know, pray then complain. Nothing is happening for me. Nothing is, you know. Hannah cried before God. She cried. One thing about Hannah when Penina was, you know, provoking her, one thing that she didn't do was she didn't complain. She, she didn't reply back to Penina. She didn't try to explain to Penina. Don't explain your pain. It won't be any gain for you. She just went into the presence of God and she cried before God. A heartfelt prayer. Lord, I need something new. I've been barren. I just need a new birth. I need a baby coming for She didn't go to Penina for a fight. Fight with words. <laughs> Fight on the Instagram. <laughs> Fight. <laughs> Fight. Fight with po Facebook post. <laughs> New age fights. Don't do that. Come on. Fight your battles on your knees. Amen. Amen. In prayer. There will always be somebody who will mock you, insult you, provoke you. But you got to learn to go on your knees and pray. Let every mockery in your life be turned to victory in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Every Amen. problem has an expiry date and something new has to come forth. Amen. Expiry to barrenness. Amen. New beginnings manufactured by the Holy Spirit. Amen. Fruitfulness. Yes. Certain problems can be lasting. But let me tell you from God's word tonight, it cannot be everlasting. Amen. Hallelujah. When people talk behind your back, you pray before God heartfelt, He will bless you in front of them. Amen. People speak about you behind your back. God will bless you in front of them. Amen. Don't be sleepless and worried. There is a saying when God speaks, every other voice just becomes a noise maker. Your destiny, your life is not in the mouth of Penina. Your life, your destiny, your new beginnings are in the hands of the living God. Amen, amen. It is a heartfelt oh, prayer that Lord. brings the response. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, See, people don't speak about somebody who is not going anywhere in life. If you, if people are speaking behind you, your back and saying something, let me tell you, you are going somewhere.
only when you are at the top can you be the topic <laughs> have you seen that when you are the head you will cause headlines that's why it's called headlines i i i i speak forth tonight over somebody that god is bringing a new birth something new some fruitfulness yes. something amen amazing out of the season yes hallelujah amen. god will bring something miraculous amen. that will silence the mouth of the enemy amen. it might be a new beginning amen. a new amen. car amen. a new amen. new new home a, a yes. new business a new amen. opportunity a new, new job oh, something amen. new he is about to do in your life in the name of jesus amen. for every insult god will bring result amen hey i say that again amen. for every insult god will bring in divine results in your life amen amen yes lord amen amen so lift your hand and say new beginnings are going to happen for the new beginnings there is an end to affliction and There's new an beginnings prophesy out of your own mouth say it in the name of jesus new, new beginnings. beginnings new beginnings new beginnings heartfelt prayer new beginnings in the name of jesus amen hallelujah hallelujah glory unto the name of jesus let's close our eyes in prayer tonight thank you jesus tonight i want to take a few moments in worship and then i want to break off certain things that have been afflicting you for a long time and i want to speak over your your life for something new to be emerged for so just lift your hands exalt the name of jesus praise the name of jesus rabba la wasiyatuna speak in tongues the song that i taught you that told you rabba which one is that rakalaba i can't hear you rakala jiba la wasuan jada let the lord be your vision let's enter into worship for some time rakapra swachatunia rabba shabama la rakele boswachata la pradonia hallelujah jibrada kalpos wajantenia thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you father Glorify your name. Glorify your name. Thank you, Lord. Glorify your name. Hallelujah. Glorify your name. Rande. Be thou my vision, O Lord of my heart. Not be all else to me save that thou art. Thou my
before you as you come before the lord tonight uh, i just want you to take a few minutes to pray with you i just want you to lift your hands just give me something just just help just fill it up with worship man just give me something on the keyboard shaba kala swathiniya vaidhi devu swam jidira prakash swathiniya shri pradala das swachanaya as we come before the lord's table tonight let every recur like reoccurring issues in your life uh, whether it be in your physical body whether it be mentally whether it be spiritually whether it be relationally whether it be financially whether it be rabala ma sham chuta na ma in your work place in your business rakha swacha dhuya ma swacha dara you been fighting the same demon for years tonight let there be an end to it in the name of jesus the same bondage the same problem the same issues rakha na ma sham always reoccurring over your life may come to an end tonight in the name of jesus yes show in the name of the lord ിഷ്യൂസ് <laughs> broken in the name of the lord he show me the name of the god begin now in the name of jesus in jesus name the power of your healing flow let the restoring power of god flow amen rekele brother swacha randra barundele bado shiva baba ja thura ba padaga parada em dele vaja teka barudu shiva radha swacha dele barudu shiva radha swacha na haska maradai swa dele ya Jiba baba rai da kal paja thuda ba na shi pra kal paja thuda ba come on church i don't want you to be silent where you are but i need you to walk on the issue with the name of dominica ൂ <laughs> for it to be broken away from yes. the light by the authority of God's word and Amen. the authority of the name of Jesus yes. by the authority of the sacrifice of the blood of Jesus Christ Amen. I command that to be broken Amen. I command that to stop operating in the name of yes. Jesus now I command that season to be over a new beginning to come forth man new starts to come forth yes lord new seal new love yes lord new anointing new gifting rakala was a new hunger for god new revelation new provisions coming up in the name of jesus they show in the name of god the lord of god raida la va chala va chala va receive in the new beginnings the grace of new beginnings yes fresh start in the name of the lord consider not the things of the old the lord is saying somebody consider not the things of the past amen but now now i do a do new a new thing yes. now i do a new thing not tomorrow now i do a new thing amen now you yes in the name of jesus the power of the risen lord over you oh yes Really, boss. Look, he moves one. Check it out. Really, now. Somebody with a bed wetting problem. The Lord is healing you now. Man. Raigi libra ke iswa chata le brother chia brother na ba na ba. Liba na. Some business partners have left you, but God is opening up a new venture for you now. In the name of Jesus. Rabal pass wa chatu le brother le brother swa thaniya. Ji 
Jeevala, I see somebody taking a piece of paper and pen and starting writing. Pudhiya or Kriba, Erduwan. Atma will chala partikal Erduwan, chala pustakal Erduwan. Shababa ba, samthula ba na. Chala messagekal Erduwan. Parishud Tatma ba, Arivel rangi veru din dhatri. Ragila pragansu acha dhori le braswathaniya. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We give you all glory and honor. Amen. We give you all glory and honor. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord is saying to somebody tonight, it's not your history. It's your destiny that is important. Amen. You have a new beginning because yes. God has a destiny ahead of Amen. you. Amen. A hope at your end. A future with prosperity, blessing and hope. Amen. The Lord is saying somebody here you feel that your life has been a waste he's saying no that was a season Amen. the expiry date is tonight Amen. yes that's right a new beginning Amen. of fruitfulness Amen. is emerging forth for you yes every lost time he will restore forth he will restore forth your health every lost time he will restore forth somebody feeling tremendously discouraged because you feel you have not achieved anything substantial in your life the Lord says do not be discouraged because what I am about to do for you no ISC, no year is heard it is not even entered in your mind but I will do a new thing a fresh new thing and something will come forth do not be discouraged I will not put you to shame say the Lord Thank you, Lord. Ah, Raswatana. Some of you who feel let down, the Lord is removing that thought process from your mind. He's going to say, He's saying, I'm upholding you by my victorious right hand. Rala Rambatere Bolosi Marentolo. I see the Lord uh, releasing some lands. Rabaswa chala property ko ni pudiya da it karar registration mein change the ankaran dova. This season agar to dey vandhan ko mili alpudat ne wadi ko thora ko dova. Regal praswa chadhu da bana. Chibradala baduri ka ta gam kalpa chala mrothe ne bau samjada na. Supernatural release on agar de yeshu in the name of the. Newness in the name Amen. of the Lord. Yes. Fresh beginnings. Amen. The Alpha and the Omega. Amen. The beginning and the end. Yes. The beginning that comes from the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for doing it. Thank you, Lord. Lift your hands and thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Amen. Thank As we take the bread in our hands tonight. Thank you, Lord. We submit ourselves to Jesus. Open your mouth and say, Jesus. Jesus. I surrender my life to you. I surrender my life. Your word declares. Everyone who is in Christ Jesus is a new creation. The old is gone and the new has come. I want to enjoy the beauty of that word. Lord, I thank you for the newness in my life. Thank you, Lord, for making me spiritually alive. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Some of you who need to surrender your life and be born again, do that now. Say, Jesus. Jesus. Come into my heart. Come into my Be heart. my Lord and Savior. Be my Lord and Forgive Savior. my sins. Forgive my sins. Cleanse me with your precious me with your precious blood. Redeem me with your precious Redeem blood. me with your precious I surrender to you, Jesus. I surrender to you. I submit to you. I submit to you. I renounce sin. I renounce sin. I renounce Satan. I renounce Satan. I renounce the world. I renounce the world. Jesus Christ is Jesus my Lord. Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I submit to you, Lord. I submit to you. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. As we take the bread in our hands tonight, let's remember Jesus gave his life for us on the cross. On the cross, he said, it is complete, it is finished. He caused an end to every legal claim of the devil over his children. He defeated and destroyed the head and crushed the head of the serpent on the cross of Calvary. Tonight, the victory of Jesus be your portion. For I have received of the Lord, that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus Christ, the same night in which he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it. And he said, Take, eat. This is my body which is broken for you. This do ye in remembrance of me. Let's partake of the bread together, the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, thanks to you. 
your goodness this bread we offer fruit of the earth work of iron it will become the bread of life Jesus. blessed be God blessed separate-handedly took the cup saying this cup is the new testament in my blood this do ye as often as you drink it in remembrance of me let's thank Jesus for his precious blood his blood is his life may his blood be our life may his blood cover us deliver us protect us wash us sanctify us may his blood speak over us a better word than the blood of Abel we have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of our sins Bless this cup, O oh God, in Jesus' name. Amen. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till He comes. Jesus Christ, our Lord, He will come again in great glory. Lift your hands and thank Him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. May the eyes of their hearts be opened. May they be enlightened. May they be restored in every area of their lives. I come into your congregation tonight into your hands and I bless them Father I bless them in your name Father I bless them, I bless them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and I bless them, I bless them in the name of the Holy Spirit be blessed in the name of the Lord Yes. Amen, are you blessed tonight? remember Jesus Christ is alive, a season of new beginnings, Amen there is going to be a closure for certain things in your life, Amen Amen. Even certain court cases, there's going to be a closure for certain things in your life. Uh, God is giving you a season of new beginnings. God bless you. Have a great night. Remember, Jesus Christ is our Lord. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. God bless. Good evening, church. I uh, just want to tell you that uh, we will be continuing the way that we have been doing things right now. Even though the government has given us the freedom to gather together in the church uh, hall for prayers with a limited number of 100 people practically it is not possible right now because just our leadership team alone wouldn't be able to fit in here with 100 people you know so we have practical difficulties doing that so we're just going to continue with what we are doing right now just live stream church services to you and minister to you through the internet or radio or wherever however you are uh, connecting with us and give you the word and pray for you and our helpline numbers are also there in case you need prayer. Uh, so definitely till July 5th, that is the first Sunday of July, we wouldn't be opening our church building uh, for a Sunday gathering or a Friday gathering. Uh, and then we'll take a decision looking at how things are. So till then, God bless. Thank you.